Okay, let's do the next strike. So, next strike, just basic version, okay, is uh, leg strike, ashibara. Okay, ashibara is actually our first basic when we're dealing with the, uh, the bow. So, we're going to start here. We're going to go to this geida no kumai. Okay, and if you need to do this to feel more comfortable where you go palm up, that's fine. Okay, uh, but what we're looking at here is doing this like we're sweeping the floor. Ashi is leg or foot, barai is a uh, uh, transliteral change from harai, which means to sweep or to parry. Okay? Uh, Hatsumi Sensei says if you can't do uh, ashi barai, you can't do staff work. Okay? It's, it's as simple as it gets. Okay? So here, shifting in and going down here, we're aiming from mid shin down, not higher. It's not that you can't cause more damage. Or you can't cause damage up here, but it's a parry, it's a sweep. So I want to hit that part of his leg that makes his leg respond in a way that it blasted out, blasted out from under him. Okay? So from here, shift it. Okay? Pretty simple. If you do it from this side, here, you can simply let go with the top hand, let gravity help, catch close to it, slide it back into gate on the come on. Catch. Catch. Again, it stays balanced on, and centered on my body. Okay. Later, the strikes will look a little bit different because they all come from this bow footy position. But for now, what's that? After we hit, <clears throat> if you have it palm up, strike, let go with the top hand, and let gravity. Have the bow. It'll swing back, catch near the hand, near the middle hand, and slide that hand back up. Or just let the staff slide down in your hand. It's the same thing. I'm letting gravity and inertia help. If you do it with palm down, if I'm doing it palm up, it's going to be just a little bit different. I'm just, I'm just but I'm still going to let go. Right. It's the same thing, but I'm going to end up palm up again anyway. Okay. You. You can turn it around if you want on the way up here, but anytime you let go or try to do a grip change in the middle of a, the middle of a fight, because you're going to lose fine motor skills. Anytime you do that, you risk losing this. So if you're doing a couple, you're best to go Just ahead and stay this way. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's a kata later on um, that you'll learn. It's called ashibarai, and then uh, this one combined with yoko menuch and combined with bofurigata becomes the first kata on the shodan scroll of the Kukushino Yu, which is called, uh, what's it called? Go, go. Five ways, five methods, okay? So we've got this turning for protection, and then leg, side of the face, to just slid it back into this, leg, pull, kind of thing, right? Because Ashibarai teaches three different ways to attack the same points on the leg. So from here, just this sweeping. We're going to keep it simple for today's class because of what I want to cover. All right? Later on, we'll take a look at being able to do ashibarai from a flip over kind of position, from this come on here, whatever. But from right now, right here, just this basic sweeping kind of thing, hit, reposition. So think about this. Okay? This is how um, one of the shihan taught me a long time ago. Okay? Just like you're sweeping the floor and you need to change direction. If you can make it that simple, it's just natural. Now it's not, we don't sweep the floor this way, not unless you're trying to make a big cloud of dust, right? Okay, so balanced, balanced, okay? So do the, the lower leg. This is in an Ihen no Kamai or a Jodan no Kamai where you're in this higher position here. Okay, so your kamai by its very nature allows for the strike to happen. Okay, if I'm in Hirichi Monji, natural strike is no gutch. Okay, if I'm in Seigan no Kamai or Geidan no Kamai, the natural strike is Yokomai. Yes? Not that you can't do it from here. Okay. But for now, just sweep. Dirt on the floor, sweep it away. Okay, I've had it.